Laura Dern is an Oscar-nominated actor with a long career of big-name credits. But it seems this year, the world has fully woken up to her. In the last 12 months, she's cleaned up the awards for her role as Renata Klein on the HBO series Big Little Lies, highlighting a cast that includes some of the biggest movie stars in the world. On the big screen, Dern played Vice Admiral Holdo in the Star Wars The Last Jedi movie, a film that's made $1.3 billion at the box office. She's clearly comfortable in that spotlight. Dern was born into Hollywood, the daughter of two acclaimed actors who've been nominated for Oscars themselves. Laura and I got together here in New York for a Sunday sit-down. With high-profile roles in Star Wars The Last Jedi, on Big Little Lies, and on the revival of the series Twin Peaks, Laura Dern is having herself a year. <sighs> They're calling it the Dernissance. Yeah. You're now in the in the Dernissance. Yes. I love hearing you say it. I <laughs> hope you'll just use it periodically. Freely. I'll drop yeah. it into conversation. <laughs> yes. Confusing everyone at the yes. table. I'd like to have the <laughs> Dernissance. Right um, away, sir. <laughs> Does it feel to you like, hey, by the way, I've had this whole career already, and this is just <laughs> the, the next moment in it? You know, no, I so celebrate that because for all of it to say that this is the beginning of the height of when someone, a woman, should be celebrated. That is cool. That it's not the old story, like a pro athlete. You know, you have your five years right. as a starlet. With more than three decades of acting under her belt, the 51-year-old Dern proved long ago she wouldn't be one of those flame-out starlets. I found some pictures from that. Her latest is the intense HBO movie, The Tale. Dern stars as a woman uncovering the long-suppressed truth about her abuse as a child, a role that forced Dern to reconsider her own past. I just need to know what happened. It really is a film about the stories we tell ourselves perhaps in order to survive an experience. It did force me as a viewer to sort of think back a little bit. Did you feel that too? Did you find anything in your own life? 100%, and I think the, the things that I found, which is the gray area moments where you've justified behavior for years because it's someone you admire or someone you liked, I was amazed at how I had, in fact, not only defended others' behavior, but put myself in the story as much more mature. Well, I mean, I was so tall for my age, mm. and so, <laughs> what? <laughs> my height is the reason that someone else's behavior is horrific toward a 12, 13-year-old? Well, you've talked about, too, when you were 14 years old, having an experience like that. I knew the industry, I knew what to be... And, and then you, well, wait a minute, that wasn't okay. Dern knew the industry because she grew up on the movie sets of her parents, actors Bruce Dern and Diane Ladd. And Laura proved to be a Hollywood operator at a very young age. Did your parents ever say, maybe you don't want to do this? I think the quote of my mother's was, be a lawyer, be a doctor, be a lepo missionary, but don't be an actress. How did you continue to pursue that career? I became quite clever and somewhat strategic, stealth even, by, you know, going to my mom's birthday party in the corner of the agent and saying, like, will you let me come and read a monologue for you and tell me if you think I have talent? And if I do, will you send me out on an audition? Wow. How old are you? Eleven. Really? <laughs> Wow. That. So um, clearly I was obsessed. <laughs> Dern's first paid job was in the 1980 movie Foxes. She was 13. Better stick to the pill. You should never know what you don't know, you know? Five years later, she appeared with Cher in the film Mask and played a rebellious teenager in Smooth Talk. How are you doing? Dern's breakthrough, though, came a year later when acclaimed director David Lynch cast her in his dark cult classic, Blue Velvet. The pair have remained collaborators ever since. 
What did you see early on in the Blue Velvet days that made you think, I need to work with this guy throughout my career as you have? It's the luckiest gift because he sees nothing but his vision. He breaks every boundary. I feel fearless in ways I never expected. And I mean, please, if an actor has an ego, which I don't know if you've heard, <laughs> they Some can. Of them have, yeah. <laughs> I found a director who was like, You're going to be in this movie. There's four different leads. You're playing all of them. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Okay. Um, I mean, it's like crazy. And you do as you're told because I David Lynch. I do whatever Lynch. he says. Another favorite partner is Dern's mother, Diane Ladd. They've been in three films together. In the 1991 movie, Rambling Rose. You must have a wonderful brain. The performances earned Dern her first Oscar nomination and Ladd her third. They became the first mother-daughter team to earn Academy Award nominations in the same film. The next year, Dern went blockbuster, dodging dinosaurs in Jurassic Park. <laughs> Off screen, Dern married musician Ben Harper in 2005. They have two children and since have divorced. Dern earned her second Oscar nomination, playing Reese Witherspoon's mother in the 2014 movie Wild, even though Dern is only nine years older than Witherspoon. There's nothing I don't get, believe me. How was your summer? It was Last year, Dern and Witherspoon got together again for HBO's hit show Big Little Lies. Dern's performance won her both an Emmy and a Golden Globe. Let us all get along. I said thank you. People were watched one episode and they're like, oh my God, you know, rich women's problems. And then everything starts to unfold and you, you see the relatability in a lot of the storytelling. You didn't call me. In a cast that also includes Nicole Kidman, the show's upcoming second season adds even more iconic talent. The cast is amazing, and somehow it got better. You added a, a young actress named, what's her name again? Um, oh, God, I'm so embarrassed. I forget her name, am. and, I, like, I'm working with her right now. What is it? Uh, street. Meryl, street, being street. being told it's Meryl lovely, Street. Lovely, lovely. She's yeah. going to be okay in Hollywood? She's very good. <laughs> She's someone to watch, I've got to say. Secrets with Laura Dern. <laughs> I know the answer to this question before I ask it, but can you give any hints about season two? Do you see how good he is? What happens is he says he already knows the answer, and then that rebel in you wants to <laughs> wants to question oh, it. I, oh, I had you that and close. And you go, well, I'm going to give him information <laughs> just because he thinks I'm not. <laughs> but Jedi mind fact, trick. <laughs> yes, I like your style. No, I can't Nothing. tell you a thing. Except. Meryl Streep. <laughs> but we will have to wait until next year to see Meryl Streep in season two of Big Little Lies. Meanwhile, Laura's movie, The Tale, premieres next Saturday on HBO. Laura serves on the Board of Governors of the Academy of Motion Pictures, Arts and Sciences and has stepped forward as a Hollywood leader in the era of Me Too and Time's Up. To hear her talk about changing the industry she grew up in, check out our web extras at today.com slash Sunday. And don't forget to subscribe to the Sunday Sit Down podcast to hear the entire unedited interview with Laura. You can find it on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get your podcasts, along with a big collection of our other interviews. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.